Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a holiday gift guide. Uh, the reason why I wanted to do this video is because my little sister and I, you know, we were talking about um, what we wanted for Christmas and she asked me what I wanted and I was just like, uh, just give me anything sewing related and she didn't really know uh, what that was. She was just kind of like, can you give me more details? I'm not really sure what to get you and I don't want to get you, you know, the wrong things. And as um, she was telling me this, I thought this would be a great video to make because I understand that sewing is not really a common thing anymore. And um, for those of you who have like friends or loved ones that sew and you don't, it could kind of be a little bit um, overwhelming to think of what to get for them. So I figured this, you know, could be useful for you guys. So I kind of have everything laid out um, on the floor right here and, and kind of like categories. So. The first thing is um, things that, you know, someone who sews, we use a lot of stuff um, that's like, you use it once and then it's done. And I'll show you, for example, what that could be. So the first thing would be like, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, tracing paper. So the tracing paper I like to use right now is by this brand, um, Sorol. I think that's how you say it and I actually found this tracing paper online uh, randomly because I don't really like the um, Dritz tracing paper that you find in like you know Joanne or Hobby Lobby because I don't think the quality is very that great and I, I can never really see the lines that I'm tracing so I found this one and it's pretty nice um, you only get it comes in a roll kind of like a uh, saran wrap so you can kind of see like this it only comes in one color per box, so I ended up getting the graphite color. And I actually like this a lot more than the um, Dritz tracing paper. But the one thing about this that I don't like a whole lot is you do get like the um, color, you know, on your hands. So that's something to be mindful of, but it does wash out. So if you're working with light colored fabric and you use a darker... Um, paper and you end up smudging it, smudging it, you know, on your fabric, it washes out so it's no big deal. Um, another thing would be like marking tools. So you have this disappearing ink marking pen. These are really great. This would be like a great stocking stuffer along with, um, this is made by Clover. And it's actually like Taylor's chalk. Let's see if it'll focus. But it's in pen form, which is really nice. The tip is really narrow, which makes a nice, clean, narrow line. Uh, let's see. Pens. Pens are always a great idea, um, especially if you're someone like me. I lose these a lot. I drop them. They get lost. So these are always nice. Um, I like the ones. These are the dressmaker pens. They don't have plastic on the cap. So you'll see like if you go to like a um, sewing store and you see like pins that have like little yellow balls on the end, I, I don't recommend those because they melt if you hit them with an iron, whereas these, it's all, all metal. So you can just iron over them no problem, you don't have to worry about them melting. Uh, sewing machine needles, these are very useful. Um, these are by the brand Schmetz, I think is how you say it, and these are, these are my favorite. Um, I use a Singer sewing machine and these work just fine at my machine. These are a great gift because you have to change out your needle after every couple projects, so uh, we go through needles quickly <laughs> and it'd be nice to have a bunch of, you know, extras laying around. So the ones that I'm picked up here are Stretch. Uh, universal needles, so if you're not really sure which one to get, just get universal. Those work pretty well. And then um, jeans, if someone in your you know, group of friends or whoever you're buying these for sews a lot of like denim or heavier fabrics, these would be great. Um, also, I just discovered this this year. It's Wash Away Wonder Tape. <laughs> I love this stuff. This is probably one of my favorite things I've found this year. Um, this is great. It's basically just really narrow, double-sided, like, tape. And it washes away. It doesn't gum up your needles. It's super nice. Um, I use this when I sew in zippers, and it has changed. It's, like, been life-changing. It's, 
amazing. So my zippers aren't all wonky anymore from the pin shifting. It's literally, like, it's perfect. And then also if you, um, sew with fabrics that you don't want to put pins in because the pinhole will stay, like, um, leather or vinyl or anything that, like, a, a, mark, a pin mark would stay in, this would be great. Um, it's a different, it's an alternative to using pins. Okay, the next thing are pattern weights. I got these off the shop, oh so quaint, um, from Etsy, and I got them at the beginning of the year, and I constantly use these. Uh, I bought these because I didn't want to use pins um, when putting my pattern on my fabric, because I wasn't very good at that. Um, I had an issue with, like, the pattern never really laid flat. I don't know, it's just little nitpicky things that bother me, so I bought the pattern weights, and I think these are really, really great um, to give to someone, like, it's just adorable, and I think her um, shop is actually on vacation, because she was getting a lot of orders, and so, unfortunately, I don't think you can get these right now, so, but I'll put a link um, in the description bar to all of this stuff that I can find online, and then a couple, like, options for pattern weights if uh, you can't get your hands on these, because... They're just so cute. They're donuts. I love them. Alright, so... <clears throat> scissors. Like an upgraded pair of scissors. Like these Ginker scissors would be a really, really nice gift. Uh, like really good quality, you know, tools that... Someone wouldn't necessarily buy for themselves, but... You know, as a nice gift, you know, this would be one. Um, these actually come in a bunch of different sizes. And you can see the size, you know, it's on the bottom corner right here. So these are 8 inch. Um, I think they also come in 7 and 10 inch as well. And I don't really recommend the larger scissors, the 10 inch ones, because they're super heavy. They can be a little cumbersome to use. And um, I noticed that, like, my hand would get tired <clears throat> from using those because they're just long and heavy. So um, either the 7 or 8 inch ones would be really nice. And also, these are a little bit on the pricey side for scissors. I think these are $45. But uh, Joanne Fabrics, they always have coupons available. And, you know, it's the holiday season, so they have lots of sales going on. Um, unfortunately, we dismissed their Black Friday sales, but I don't even think these were on um, sale during that time. But yeah, they usually have, like, uh, coupons for, like, 60% off one regularly priced item, so if you can get your, use that coupon with this, that'd be a great deal, and it'd, it'd be a really thoughtful gift. Um, since we're also on the topic of things that cut fabric, a rotary cutter would be really nice, and then some replacement blades to go along with it. This is the 28 millimeter one, they also come in 45. Um, I tend to, I have both sizes, and I tend to use the 28 one more, just because it's easier to, you know, cut around curves. So if you can't get both sizes, I would probably get the size 28, just because it's easier to use, and then some replacement blades to go with it. Okay, another thing you could get are sewing patterns, and I actually recommend um, getting independent patterns versus the big four patterns like Simplicity, McCall's, or Berta. Um, two reasons for that. So the first reason is the big four patterns, you can, they're divided into two sizes. So for example, if there was a dress pattern that someone wanted, they could either be between, I think they go from 6 to 14, and then 14 to 22. So if you aren't sure what size they are, um, what their measurements are, then that's not really going to be helpful because you could end up getting the wrong size. And then also the instructions aren't the greatest, whereas independent companies, um, their sizing, there's only one size, like one pattern size range, so like 0 to like 18 or 22, and it's all in one pattern. They don't divide it to be like 0 to 14, 14 to 22, like the big four do. And also, their instructions are a lot better written, and you can find on their blogs, like, sew-alongs. So if the person that you're buying for, they're new to sewing, and they're just getting into it, that would be really helpful. So I have a couple here. Um, Grainline Studio, 
Their sizes range from 0 to 18 in this pattern. This is their linen sweatshirt. I've actually sewn maybe two patterns of theirs um, since being back. So, and I really like it. They're actually one of my favorites. They have a lark tee, which is really nice. That's my favorite pattern from them so far. Super easy instructions to follow. Um, no issues with sizing and the fit. And also, their PDFs. So if you want to get them a PDF versus a printed one, their PDFs are fantastic. I have no issue with, like, when I tape the pieces together, the lines match up perfectly. There's none of it where like the line kind of lines up, it's a little to the left, it's like too far to the right. No, it's it's perfect. There, so yeah, I love Grain Line Studio. And they do a sew along on their website as well. Um, another one would be Sewaholic patterns. So they range from size 0 to 20. Uh, sew House 7. I actually haven't sewn one of their patterns yet, but um, it's on my list. This will probably, I bought this one to make for the summertime. Um, and they range from 0 to 20 as well. Named Clothing. Uh, this one goes from US 0 to 18. And let me see if I can open up some of these so you can see the instructions. Okay, maybe not this one because I'll probably rip that. Um probably get paper cut open and then paper cut patterns um, this is they range from extra extra small all the way to extra large and actually I think um, new look the new no quick sew I'm sorry quick sew they range from extra small to extra large I believe on their pattern so if you wanted to um, if you didn't want to order online from an independent company you could uh, do quick sew. They have, they don't break theirs up like the McCall's and Simplicity all do. Um, okay, well maybe not that instruction book. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys the instruction books but I don't want to rip the packaging which would probably end up happening if I try to open this. Sorry about that. Okay, um, what else is next? Okay, a reusable shopping bag. Uh, these are actually really helpful because if you're someone like me who, you know, goes out and buys fabric every week, <laughs> um, you know, I don't really like wasting plastic, plastic bags. I try not to use them if I can, so a reusable shopping bag would be nice. Um, I actually made this one. It's not perfect, so don't judge. It's my first, <laughs> first time making one, uh, just like off the top of my head. So I made this one. It says, my husband lets me have all the fabric I can hide. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so, I mean, these are nice. You can just keep them in the car, and then when you go, you know, shopping for fabric or anything, um, it's readily available. You can just grab it out of your back seat. Okay, also, another nice thing would be, um, like, these thread sewing boxes. So, I picked this one up from Joanne Fabrics. Um, it's by... Guterman, Gutterman, I'm sorry, I'm not really sure how to pronounce this, but it has, how many different spools, 26 spools of thread in this box, so, yeah, this would actually be really nice, and this is also a really great gift too for someone who's just starting out, so they have a bunch of different colors um, to work with, um, also, some other stuff you can get, artists like miscellaneous um, tools, which would be like a tailor's ham. These are really nice. You can find these on Amazon. These are really great for pressing. Um, I use these when I make garments that have darts in them. And I actually want to get another um, pressing ham. It's long and cylinder because to make long sleeve shirts. <sighs> yeah, so this is a good tool. Um, also, if I'm not really sure, I can't remember what this thing is called, but I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. You basically, you open it and you put your elastic, so let's see, see how it has like a little mouth right there? You put your elastic in there and then you clip it and then you put this in through one end and you just pull it out to where the elastic comes out. So like this is really great on elasticated waistbands. Um, I got this because I used to do um, 
use safety pins to try to pull my elastic through but an issue where I just kept sticking my fingers with the safety pin and it was just getting annoying and yeah I, I, <laughs> I hated it so I bought this little tool and I've actually used it a lot it's flexible it's bendy so you don't have to worry about it you know breaking when you're trying to pull your elastic through and then also um, I found these on Nancy's Notions so what they are is they're little um, you put them on your sewing machine where your seam allowance would be, like on the, the plate of the sewing machine, and it helps um, keep your, what am I trying to say? It helps keep your seam allowance nice and straight. Um, so like me, I'm not the best at, you know, keeping everything perfect, so sometimes like if I'm making my seams, they, they're a little wonky. <laughs> So these are actually really great. They have like a little sticky back. You just stick it on your machine and line your fabric up and push it through your machine. So this would be really great um, for someone who's also, you know, just learning how to sew so they can, you know, practice uh, keeping their fabric straight or someone who, like me who's just not very good at it. <laughs> okay. Um, also, I don't have anything... The next, like, I guess, category would be gift cards. Uh, I don't have any to show you, but some really good shops for that would be uh, Mood Fabric. Their fabric is a little bit pricier, so a gift card to that would, you know, be nice. Uh, Fabric.com, they have a really good fabric selection. Uh, Joanne Fabrics, you know, if you have one around you, a gift card there would be nice. Um, and then, I don't know if there's any gift card to any, like, sewing-related, um website would be good so especially like if um you know like independent pattern companies if you're not really sure what type of pattern they would want they have gift cards available you can uh, send them electronically through email and then last but not least uh as someone who sews or i would say even crafters in general we have a lot of stuff so storage and organization could kind of be a problem so anything that can keep you organized um, or, you know, storage would be great. So let me pull these over here. Oops. Okay. So uh, the first thing I have are a bobbin holder. I took all my bobbins out. That way they wouldn't, you know, be falling out. Um, I do like this. The only issue that I have is that I have a lot of different threads that are, like, very similar in color so when I'm trying to like match up my bobbin with my spool of thread it gets a little bit confusing so I found these at Hobby Lobby uh, what are these called bobbin pegs these are awesome let me see if I can show you how to use them so I have one right now this is my spool um, and my bobbin so what you do is you take this peg little pink peg right and then you stick the shorter end into your spool like this and then you just put your bobbin and there you go your bobbin and your sp spool are together so now you don't have to guess does this bobbin go with this spool thread so these are actually really nice and these are only $2.99 and you get 10 of them so that's a great stocking stuffer idea um, speaking of spools of thread, these are nice. A little thread organization box. Uh, this was $10 at Joanne Fabrics, and I actually um, used this, one of these boxes, when I first started out sewing. Um, my thread collection has grown tremendously, so unfortunately, you know, it's... Um, too big for this box right now, but I think I'm either going to get another box or, I don't know, ask my husband to build um, one that I can like hang on the wall. And those are also nice too, the ones that hang on the wall. But um, if you're someone who like rents or someone who doesn't want to like put, you know, holes in your wall, these are a good alternative. Uh, another storage thing I have is this box. This is actually mine. I emptied it so I could show you guys. Um, this is what I brought with me when we moved. So it's basically, here, let me just move back so you guys can see. So it's two levels, and so you have, like, these little, <laughs> these right here, little latches. You just undo them, and then you have, like, 
one tray and then the top comes off for this one you have a second tray and yeah, it's pretty nice if so i bought this for our move so i can just bring um what i needed until our household goods got here and then i actually thought too like even after we got our stuff this would be really nice um so because i want to take uh, there's a couple sewing stores around our area and they do classes um, but you have to like you know bring your own machine and your own uh, tools and materials so I thought this would be great for that because I can just put what I need for the class you know in this container and take this with me along with my sewing machine so if you have someone who um, is interested in like taking you know classes at a local sewing center this I think this would be great it would they can just put what they need in there and take it with them um, also, so I actually have one of these. It is a box from Joanne Fabrics. So it looks like this, and then the top opens up. And I actually uh, got one of these when I first started sewing. I just kept, you know, everything in there, all my tools and stuff. But I've been, you know, collecting stuff, and it's outgrown it. But now I just use it to store, um, like, bias tape. It's kind of a, you know how, like, you have that junk drawer in your kitchen where it's just, like, pens, random coupons, rubber bands, <laughs> that kind of stuff. That's kind of what I use these boxes for is just whatever doesn't have a place, its own place, it just kind of gets thrown in here. But these are really good for storage. And what's really nice right now, so Joann's, they have these boxes, but they're Christmas themed, and they come in a whole bunch of different sizes. They're not all big like this. I'll just, you know, let you guys know that right now. And so many of these are like Christmas themed. So what you could do if you wanted to get someone a couple of items is get one of these boxes, um, but ones that are like Christmassy, and throw the stuff in here and just put like a a ribbon around it and that could, you could gift it to them like that which would be so nice so they can actually you don't have to worry about you know wrapping it up in wrapping paper um, you and they have you know something that they could use after it's not just gonna get thrown away like wrapping paper in a box and then the last thing I have is I bought this at Target <laughs> it is a basket but it's made out of felt so it's collapsible and it has handles and I got this because I want to um, put fabric in it for my upcoming projects that I want to do so fabric that's already been washed and folded um, and ironed you can throw in here and you can put anything here so if you don't have like a very big fabric stash this would be great to um, put fabric in or oh you know what maybe someone who knits if you have a friend or a family member who knits they can use this to put their yarn in so I just thought this is nice um, they also have it in red navy they did have it in black um, but the last time I saw them in black that was probably like a couple months ago so this one was only this is only 20 bucks not bad um, yeah so this, this video is kind of long <laughs> I ran out of things to show you um, yeah, so I feel like this, these would be good gifts for anybody, um, anyone like a beginner or someone who's been doing it a while, um, or always, these would always be very much appreciated. So, alright, well that's all I have. <laughs> I never really know how to end these, so I'm sorry they're always so awkward. But if you guys do celebrate Christmas, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas, a very, you know, Hopefully, as stress-free as it can be. I know it gets kind of hectic and crazy. And, yeah. Uh, let me know in a comment below, you know, what your favorite um, item was. Or if I missed anything, what would you guys gift to someone who sews? Um, I would really love to know. Um, I'll put on a list, you know, to keep in mind. Um, maybe it would be something that I would want, that I want my husband to give me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's all I have. All right. If you like these videos, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you around later. Bye, everyone.